Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Compline from St. Barnabas Church on this the feast day of St. Agnes. The ancient office of Compline derives its name from a Latin word meaning completion, complatorium. It is above all a service of quietness and reflection before rest at the end of the day, a time to lay aside the concerns of the day, to place them at the foot of the cross, to entrust them to God and to prepare for sleep that will be restful to our souls. Just a reminder that in the psalm, we pause at the lozenge. This is to slow us down, to let the verse echo in our minds, but above all, to invite the Holy Spirit into each place in us, which is dry and weary and in need of refreshment. Let's take a moment or two to bring ourselves intentionally into God's presence before we begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet end, quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you for the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us up to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord. All my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion, that many run after. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. And in the night watches, he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Wherefore, my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy. And in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Titus. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all.
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia. Christ, the light of the world, alleluia, has manifested his glory. Alleluia, alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, the light of the world, alleluia, has manifested his glory. Alleluia, alleluia. We pray that Christ may be seen in the life of the church. You have called us into the family of those who are the children of God. May our love for our brothers and sisters in Christ be strengthened by your grace. Jesus, Lord of the church, in your mercy, hear us. You have called us to be a temple where the Holy Spirit can dwell. Give us clean hands and pure hearts so that our lives will reflect your holiness. Jesus, Lord of the church, in your mercy, hear us. You have called us to be a light to the world so that those in darkness come to you. May our lives shine as a witness to the saving grace you have given for all. Jesus, Lord of the church, in your mercy, hear us. You have called us to be members of your body so that when one suffers, all suffer together. We ask for your comfort and healing power to bring hope to those in distress, remembering those who have asked for our prayers. Father Justin, Jill, Gabriel and David Dodd, Niall Fox, Valentina, Maureen Barton, Malati Nasaya, John McGlashan, Jonathan Hawkes, Suzanne Valiantis and family, Sasan Farhim, Rosemary Slater, Sue Vale, Matthew and family, Trisha Leatherland, Paul, Helen and Dillis's families, Muriel Coop, the Allen family, Eva Sturt, Audrey Holloway, Andrew Bocking, Katie Stephen, Kenneth Proud, and in their bereavements, Sandy Beck and family, Sunita Dugo and family, Nigel and Jill Hill and family, and Veronica Perry. Jesus, Lord of the church, in your mercy, hear us. You have called us to be the bride where you, Lord, are the bridegroom. Prepare us for the wedding feast where we will be united with you forever. We are pray for the souls of Elaine Yeo, Audrey Lynch, Chris Vickery, Andrew Hill, Usha Dougal and Jim Perry. And in their years mind, Keita Phillips, Hike Gasper, Joan Murrell, Baby Ian Paul, David Fox, and Susanna Hudson. Jesus, Lord of the Church, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, Lord of the Church, you have called us into fellowship with your saints. We unite our prayers with theirs and ask for your grace to serve you with joy, where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, 
one God, now and for all eternity. Amen. O oh God, who by the leading of a star manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth, mercifully grant that we, who know you now by faith, may at last behold your glory face to face. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. In peace, we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night's watch looks for the morning. So do we look for you, O Christ. May the living waters of Christ cleanse us. May the Spirit of God descend upon us. And the blessing of God be with us this night and always. Amen.